Come, Jerry. I want to introduce you to someone. I was going to say, maybe I could give the dancing mouse the itching powder and it would help him dance better. I forget what the girl said she needed. I'll probably give it to her when I go back out. Please excuse this sudden trespass, honored owl and squirrel. Ah, Jonathan, this is the rabbit I was just telling you about. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, but, but that's only Dormouse. Those eyes, eyes that have seen countless worlds. Some say he knows no mercy. But my parents say he was one of the first tree walkers. I was not the first, but I knew him. Woohoo! The Marquis de Hoto. I was barely knee high to a grasshopper the last time I saw you. In accordance with the tradition of the tree walkers, I hereby present you my apprentice, Jeremiah Hazelnut. I am here to request support for him so that he may learn the art of arts in these woods. Ah! Magic, of course. I should have guessed that right away. So this nestling is a new magician's apprentice. And we thought the tradition of the tree walkers had been lost. Woohoo! What? Magician's apprentice? Please hold your horseflies for a moment, Jonathan. Certainly not. Tradition demands that we immediately prepare the treetop festival. A new tree walker must be celebrated properly. According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestling, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. Precisely. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. I shall wait for you here, Jerry. I'm interested in what's happened here. Mousewood has changed. Does that mean I'm supposed to run around out there all by myself? <laughs> I trust that you can take care of yourself. It's still summer vacation. This is your adventure, Jerry. Do you think you can do it? No, because there's way too much dialogue and way too much little clicking Absolutely. on things. And there's a reason I stopped playing this game. It's very slowly paced. Stop. But don't and... step on the books. <laughs> Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. Huh? Okay. Can I play again yet? I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> okay. I always tell people... Yeah, yeah. Critique of Impractical Reason by uh, Emmanuel Katz. Natural History by Hildegard of Beehive. Oh, yeah, where shall I put that? How about sorting the books by topic? Brainy stuff here, nature stuff there. That is exactly what I am doing. Here are those with a red cover, and over there is where those with green covers will go. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? But, but of course. Then you can find the red books immediately when you look for them. I mean, no one ever reads the green ones anyway. <laughs> In Literaria, they didn't have green books at all. Jonathan, you've never even been there. Of course I have. <laughs> but uh, naturally, it was during a... <clears throat> ah, can we go on with it? Tour. <laughs> As you can see, young man, Jonathan's sorting skills are just as dreadful as his sense of humor. <laughs> A little laugh now. Oh then. my god, come on. So we literally spend five minutes, I click on one thing, and they go on for five minutes of talking that I could skip over, but then I might miss something important that I gotta try and figure out later. Uh, why did I choose this game, and how long of a frickin' demo is this? I would have figured once we got to Mouse Town, it would have been the end of it, but no. Uh, do I want to talk to anyone else, or do I want to... Hey, something to read. Harry Otter and the Chamber of Egrets. Ha -ha. That is a historical novel. Ooh Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. 
but Conrad's niece, Ursula, I always yeah, yeah, yeah. tell people the group. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Table. A table shaped like a three leafed clover. The clover leaf has a special meaning for us. Oh, -hoo. it symbolizes the cooperation of the three permanent members of the Mousewood Town Council. Three? Our third member is Hannah Mouse. We have not seen her since the evacuation during the last crow attack. Which probably means she's dead. Okay, let's talk to Conrad. May I bother you for a second? No. no, I'm working. What are you working on? Brain work. That's me. He's staring into space. <laughs> I am thinking and planning. What is there to plan? We must replenish our stores. A crow must have feasted in here during the evacuation. For months, our beautiful mousewood has been subjected to aggressive crow attacks. Those crows are feral, almost incapable of speaking. Ooh, a very unsettling situation. Warm. Uh, town center. What else is in here before I leave? What is that? You aren't allowed up there, youngster. Up there are the documents concerning the town, the law, and the constitution. You have to be a member of the community to see them. Also, it's possible to climb all the way to the top of the town hall from there. Really? Indeed. Perhaps you would decide to live in Mousewood one day. Then I will show you. Okay, let's try talking to him. Oh, yay, choices. Uh, wonderful. What exactly am I supposed to do now? According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestling, before your training begins, you must... That is the tradition. You yeah, should yeah. speak to... What is the treetop festival? Uh, Mr. Squirrel, honored guests, please settle down. The Treetop Festival oh, is going to take place one month from now. No, no. The, the Treetop Festival is traditionally held for every new tree walker apprentice once he has completed his training. So it was in the past, and so it is today. Oh, oh. Perhaps it really has been too long since I was here. What is that? Oh, oh. That is magic. And an invitation to the Treetop Festival from your city archives that's over 90 years old. You see, Conrad? Oh, oh. Jerry, take this invitation. And do what with it? Also, this magic postage stamp. Okay, I'm supposed to mail it, I guess. Uh, what's it for? You'll find out once you place it on an envelope. But only stick it to an envelope once it has the invitation inside. And send invitations to everyone in Mousewood. Because once you've completed your training, the Treetop Festival will be held. You should talk to Plato, our male frog. He okay. can deliver the invitations for you. If you need help, ask the people of Mousewood. If you get really stuck, use this first minor spell. If good advice is hard to come by, open the invitation and click on the advice seeker spell on the right edge of the magic wand, okay? How does it work? With the advice seeker, you can enter into contact with me through your thoughts, and I will give you a hint that you will hopefully find helpful. With this spell and your magic coin, be confident that you can face any challenge awaiting you. I'll wait here for you, Jerry. Uh, about my preparation, tree top festival, I thought there was going to be a magician. What was that about a tree walker and the portals? Uh, do I really want to listen to all this? Alright, 
about my preparations for the Treetop Festival again. According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparation. Okay, and what exactly do I have to do again? Okay, and what exactly do I have to do again? Nestle? Precisely. You should speak to... Uh, what's it for? You'll find out once, but only... And send it, because yeah, once... Yeah, yeah. Who am I supposed to send? How am I supposed to send the invitation? How Sorry. am I supposed to send the invitations? You should talk to. He can deliver. Okay. I think I know enough now. Uh, tree top festival. Tree top festival. I thought I was going to be a magician. Your magical training will begin after the preparations for the festival. You have so much still ahead of you. Oh, <laughs> I envy you. But there isn't much time. So hurry, Jerry Hazelnut. Whole worlds are waiting to be discovered by you. So many spells waiting to be learned. So I'm guessing once I have this treetop festival and I start to actually become a magician will be the end of this tutorial, or this demo, whatever you want to call it. What was that about the tree walkers and the portals? We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Fairy tales. A tree walker is a magician who walks between worlds, through the portal trees. Mere legends and myths. Not at all. Portal trees are trees with roots that reach deep into the fabric of reality, so deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating magical connections. Some use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. As do we tree walkers. Exactly. To help the helpless. <laughs> and the myth comes to life once again. Places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. Okay, let's see if we can get back to doing something here. I'll get back to work then. Good luck. And I don't think there's anything else I can click on in here, so let's go back outside.